What's up YouTube? Welcome to my new vlog, Kiteboarding Life in New Zealand. Cut. <laughs> hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my new vlog, Kiteboarding Life in New Zealand. That sucks. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my new vlog, Kiteboarding Life in New Zealand. Holy crap, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> so my name's Campbell and <clears throat> try again. Um, I live here on the beautiful Kapiti Coast, which is about half an hour's drive north of Wellington. Um, right behind me is the Waikanae Estuary. My goodness. Um, why am I doing this? Basically, I'm 39 uh, for the last 20 years of my life. Um, I feel I've done quite a bit of stuff and I've just got nothing to show for it. On film as such uh, it's all up here in my head and yeah recently got into watching uh, all these young fellas on film and I just thought hey I'm not you know life's short and uh, yeah why not have a crack at it myself a little bit about myself I'm uh, 39 years old and I'm married to my wife Mary Ann I have two children Annabelle and Maddie and my trade is plumbing and gas fitting. Um, I've been kiteboarding for the last 11 years. And prior to that, I grew up surfing basically, and then got into snowboarding. And yeah, also um, used to do quite a lot of wood skiing as well. So always been into the outdoors. And uh, I left when I was 21 and traveled around the world for about seven years. Um, mainly snowboarding and uh, ended up being based in the UK and uh, yeah while I was in the UK we went down to Brighton and saw this kiteboarding and thought holy crap that looks amazing and uh, being from Wellington the windiest city in the world we sort of thought hey why not have a crack at that there's no point complaining about the wind um, when you can use it so yeah we did some lessons down at uh, Bournemouth in, uh, in the UK and he yeah, ended up coming back to New Zealand and um, yeah, really getting into it. And uh, yeah, here I am now, 11 years later, um, just still live and breathe this sport and love everything about it. Uh, most of my friends I've made through kiteboarding. Um, I like the social aspect as well. Uh, mentioned to have uh, a coffee or a few beers afterwards and uh, a bit of a chat. Yeah, everyone seems to get on really well, looks out for each other, and uh, yeah, just live and breathe the sport. So uh, yeah, uh, my intentions with this vlog is basically just to showcase um, kiteboarding in the Wellington region and, and around New Zealand. Um, we'll hopefully take you to some of the events that have been held in and around New Zealand. Uh, now kiteboarding's uh, been accepted into the Olympics. Hopefully New Zealand can get its crap together and start holding some events. Um, I definitely want to get my younger daughter into kiteboarding and see if she's interested in, in uh, trialling out to, for these Olympics. Um, but yeah, basically just get out and about and uh, take you guys along for the ride. So I'd say my particular riding style would be free riding. I love all aspects of kiteboarding, but in particular, just love big, gnarly winds, um, big swells rolling through, big kickers to boost off. Um, just love, definitely love the bigger aspect of kiteboarding, gets the adrenaline pumping. Um, but I've also recently taken up strapless surfing. Love um, the new challenge of, of surfing as such. Um, love getting scared by big waves chasing me down. And uh, yeah, just just that challenge of um, not being strapped to your board. So uh, my favourite kiteboarders on the scene at the moment, I'd have to say Jesse Richman would be my favourite. Um, dude is just insane, watching him at the King of the Year. Um, massive mega loops, unhooked, flipping handle passes. Just crazy insane stuff, literally putting his body and life on the line as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, just seems like such a cool dude to, to hang around. Um, oh, just
just love to spend some time with that guy, get inside his head and um, yeah, see what's going on in there because man, the guy's just insane. Um, but not only that, he is amazing on a surfboard, so he's a good all-rounder. You know, Nazare charged that a few months ago, just ridiculous. So yeah, definitely my favourite kite borrower on the scene. And then, yeah, local legend, Mark Jacobs. Um, yeah, Mark just, I mean, I've seen him riding quite a few times and it just blows my mind. Um, the amount of skill he has and, yeah, once again, just a massive set of cojones on, on the fella. To be able to unhook, throw down like a massive handle pass when you're like five metres up in the air travelling. 20 meters horizontally, you know, like takes a certain sort of person to, to do that. And um, yeah, Mark's flipping just got that natural talent. Not only that, he's amazing at big air and um, throws in some really cool old school tricks and stuff like that. So yeah, Mark's just next level when it comes to, uh, to riding talent in New Zealand. I mean, young and old, I mean, I could say uh, we've got a little local ripper up in uh, Foxton, up north, uh, little Eve, she's 11, coming probably 12 by now, and uh, she just gets out there and absolutely charges, um, gives, gives it a good crack, and it's just so inspirational for us old fellows like me to see um, young ones progressing and, um, and really charging, so yeah, looking forward to... Uh, meeting up with her later on in the year and, um, and doing some riding with her. But so basically, um, I'm not sponsored. Uh, I'm not getting paid by anybody to do this. I'm not affiliated to any particular brand. I uh, just love kiteboarding and everything about it, uh, the addiction to the wind. And yeah, just really want to showcase um, what we get up to in our spare time. Um, all the different spots that we have here in the Wellington region, but also get out and about around New Zealand um, and showcase some of the unique spots that we that we have in this this country.